Welcome to Vanadium. This is Chris Rankin. The more I learn about this mad world, the more mysterious it seems. The sight of the moon and the observations of its different phases and appearances has been the subject of centuries of science, but also art, legend, and myth. One of the most mysterious celestial bodies we know of in the universe just happens to be Earth's closest satellite. Moons are everywhere, around countless planets, but there is something very different about our moon. From its mysterious origin to its oddly fixed position in the sky, always looking down on us with the same face because of its matched rotation with the Earth, the moon is covered in a strange, deadly dust it almost killed Neil Armstrong during the first moon landing, when it nearly ate through his spacesuit. Not long ago, the unthinkable happened when it was proven that there is water on the surface. All the way to probably the weirdest moon discovery, what happened just recently in late 2021, which is probably the moon's biggest mystery. Someone launched a rocket or a missile that smacked right into the lunar soil. No one knows who built it or launched it. No country, including the US or China, claims ownership. This is totally unprecedented in the space technology world. It all started in late 2021, when astronomers spotted what turned out to be a rocket hurtling straight toward the moon. It was traveling at 5,700 miles an hour when it struck the lunar surface. The impact in March of 2022 left two massive craters and debris that was photographed by NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. Bill Gray, the astronomer who first spotted it and led the effort in trying to unmask the owners of the mystery rocket, first thought it had to be a SpaceX Falcon 9 vehicle. Eventually, he figured out this could not be the case. NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory engineer John Giorgiani got in touch with Gray earlier this year to point out that the path of the mystery object didn't fit with the Falcon 9 trajectory. Giorgini's observations prompted Gray to have another look at the archives of earlier space missions. Based on the new evidence he gathered, Gray now believes the object is a booster from China's Chang 5 T1 mission, which was launched in October of 2014. However, Chinese scientists and government officials insist this is impossible, that all their rockets have burned up, re-entering Earth's atmosphere. They said the mystery missile doesn't belong to them, and they have no idea where the object came from. China maintains they had nothing to do with it. I'm well aware that politicians and governments are not always honest or forthcoming about their military and scientific activities, but this is strange. Any organization, country, company would ordinarily love to take credit for accomplishing something like reaching the moon. One would think they would want everyone else to know what they were capable of, to impress, raise their standing, and let everyone else know, look what we can do, don't mess with us. Building and launching rockets into space is pretty far from digging up coal or making plastic action figures. Only seven countries on Earth ever developed full launch programs. Even after much of the technology was shared, still today, only 11 countries are even remotely capable of building or launching space vehicles. This includes the Ukrainian and Russian programs, which are really just continuations of the work of the Soviet Union. So what kind of rocket was this thing? Based on the images and data gathered so far, it's impossible to say. Also, when the rocket collided, it left an odd double crater. This crater is weird. Why is it double? Other rockets from the Apollo missions never left double craters. This is just one of the things that puzzles astronomers about this object. NASA said in a press release, typically a spent rocket mass is concentrated at the motor end. The rest of the rocket stage mainly consists of an empty fuel tank. So where did the second crater come from? The Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter team described the situation this way in a June 2022 press release. 
Impact occurred March 4, 2022, with NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter later spotting the resulting crater. Surprisingly, the vehicle crater is actually two craters, an eastern crater 18 meters or just about 60 feet in diameter, superimposed on a western crater 16 meters or around 50 feet in diameter. Whatever it is, it's not just a bit of space junk. This thing is big. NASA says the unusual formation could only come from an impactor of a very specific and unusual shape. They went on. The double crater was unexpected and may indicate that the rocket body had large masses at each end. Since the origin of the rocket body remains uncertain, the double nature of the crater may indicate its identity. The problem is, no known Earth-based rockets are designed this way. There's going to be plenty of more news and follow-up to this story. Astronomers from around the world are planning to collect further imagery and data and get closer to unmasking the identity of the unidentified space vehicle. The moon always seemed a bit strange to me, more like a lit up painting in the night sky. It looked too much like the flat glow in the dark lunar decal I had on my bedroom wall when I was a kid. The more I learn about the moon, the more the mystery heightens. It's easy to understand why the moon has been the subject of such fascination and lore. Even in 2022, with everything astronomers can see and figure out, no one knows who is landing spacecraft there. Thank you very much. This was Chris Rankin with Vanadium. <laughs>